want to uh, do a show like this that was more about your private? Uh, well, it, it, it seemed a good opportunity to uh, uh, maybe create a, a bit of a hybrid uh, genre uh, in, in that uh, we're kind of aiming for uh, a, a real life modern family. And, uh, but a comedy, reality comedy. We see this as falling somewhere between Larry David and the Kardashians. You know, we, uh, <laughs> that, that, that's our goal, is to have some fun with real life and to uh, embellish it a little bit with, uh, with plot lines. And, and we're also the Ricky and Lucy, I think. Yeah. You know, we kind of give each other that. That's true. Our real life is a, uh, uh, Tanya is a Bolivian heritage and I'm uh, from Kirkland Lake. So uh, culturally we're, uh, miles apart and somehow we managed to meet in the middle. We've been together for 14 years, married for eight. So, uh, and I have all the gray hairs to prove it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, we, we, we paid our dues with each other and uh, we're not afraid. Yes, uh, well, we'll uh, uh, with, with uh, the three children, we expect that we will uh, uh, mainly deal with them in their venue in their genre. The 15-year-old Carter will deal with 15-year-old uh, issues in his real life. Uh, the eldest son, who is one of the leaders of the medical marijuana uh, political movement uh, in uh, California, will uh, deal with some of that reality. And Robin will catch him on the fly. His, uh, he's on a European tour right now, then he goes to Asia, and we'll, we'll grab him once in a while backstage, or. Uh, or, 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 or figure out how to fit him in, but it'll be real in terms of their lives and itineraries. And do they have any problems about you doing this? Maybe you saw something they didn't want? Yeah, well, I think they, we all had uh, qualms about it to some degree. Uh, not as bad as when I was offered uh, a commercial for the erectile dysfunction tablet extends a couple of years ago. That was a big family conversation whether you really wanted to be the face of erectile dysfunction and whether that was a, uh, <laughs> whether that was flattering or not. So once, we, once the family got through that conversation, <laughs> uh, reality comedy television was easy. Can you tell us what a Kardashian Christmas party is really like? <laughs> uh, a big party? Can you tell us what the Kardashian Christmas party is? Uh, you know, interesting, what, uh, tell them about how Bruce, remember there was an incident uh, uh, last year and they didn't have cameras to cover it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the Chris Jenner just, she, if there were ever a woman that knows how to spend money, it's Chris Jenner. And uh, she just throws a, a very lavish, exciting, fun, a lot of dancing, and they're all dressed in black and white, go figure. And uh, I believe that a couple years ago, uh, Bruce Jenner got into an incident with his neighbor into a fist fight. The police showed up, and unfortunately, the cameras were not there. <laughs> the cameras are there when they go to the bathroom. The cameras are always wherever there's a Kardashian, there's a camera. They should spell camera with a K in that house. So, and and this one incident at the part when the neighbors were complaining about parking or whatever uh, was going on, Bruce is literally duking it out with the, this guy in the driveway. Security bring up no cameras in sight, so they missed that one event. But there, I, I, I deferred to Tanya on that because uh, uh, I go back a long way with uh, Bruce and uh, Tanya does with Chris. In fact, uh, Chris is uh, uh, one of Tanya's bridesmaids when we got married. 